They've announced that the technical regulations are changing for next season. Now there's a risk a lot of our hard work could be undone if we're not careful. So let's figure out how to mitigate this. Drivers, take a look at the developments we have and let us know what you want to invest in protecting. All right, everyone, let's get on top of this. Okay, we had the new parts come through from the factory. We'll get them on the car ahead of FP1. You went from super angry to super cool then in zero to ten, Carl. Fantastic. Yes, we got some new parts, fresh stuff. Uh, what do they want? They want a best finish. Oh, best finish of 11th. Yeah, we should do that. Might, might have to do it at Singapore, though. Not uh, So we got all that. Weather forecast. Oh, it's going to rain for qualifying, but the race is going to be dry. That's going to be interesting. Right then. Welcome to Singapore. Now, they said something about the R&D. Warning, regulation changes. Uh, regulation is forced next season, making it existing up to it's obsolete in their current state. For subgrades can be adapted to the 50% purchase cost to make them legal for next season's regulations. All current fitted upgrades will remain active on the car for the remainder of the season, but any non-adapted upgrades will be lost. So, in other words, I've got to spend more money to get them locked in on the car. Wow. That sucks. That really, really sucks. Okay. So it looks like we've got to concentrate all the Singapore's resources on those four upgrades there. Not ideal, if I'm being honest, folks. Not ideal. Look at the championship. Why not? After Kimi Raikkonen's DNF in uh, Italy, the gap is down to 20 points to Lewis Hamilton. Uh, then comes Valtteri Bottas, Sebastian Vettel, Danny Ricciardo, Max Verstappen, with a massive gap back to Nico Hülkenberg, who's about to be embroiled in a fight with me, because I'm only nine points behind him. Uh, then comes Carlos Sainz, Kevin Mangson, Sergio Perez, uh, Roman Grosjean, etc, etc. And Hartley and Ericsson are still yet to score. Uh, I would think we're a lock for at least 8th in the Constructors, but uh, if we keep pushing, we might be able to get 5th. That would be a result. So we're at Singapore. Statistically, it's one of the better races. So I think we can uh, give this a go and see where see where we end up. But uh, I hope that we can do something uh, something good at Singapore. But we'll uh, get out there. We'll get this baby qualified uh, after practice, and we'll see you uh, when the lights go out. To the Marina Bay circuit, the atmosphere is thick, not just with humidity, but with tension as well. As we get ready for qualifying here at the Singapore Grand Prix. I want to talk briefly about the got chances, Danny. These qualifying sessions. Anthony Davidson, Cheeky how can a driver adjust their approach to gain those critical extra tenths of a second? Well, qualifying isn't about adjusting your approach necessarily. It's more about trying to repeat a low fuel run that you've practiced prior to this session. You're looking for perfection yeah, on the it's lap, Brendan, mate. and that's hard to achieve if you're trying something new. There are some variables that can stand in your way, however. Track position or unexpected yellow flags, for example, you see that then? Stuffle has. Track conditions, it's important I don't know what it's called, right but he has something which makes driver, him blur. You have to try and ignore these distractions and just keep your mind focused on that one perfect lap. Okay, we know it's going to be a struggle to get out of this session, but give it your best shot. We will do. Now, what we had to do before uh, practice free was take new where is it? Yep. Take new ICE, take a new MGUH and take a new turbocharger. So I can see that we've got a problem with the MGUK. I'm gonna try and hold on to that. What's the other one like? That's at 67. 
so that might be alright for Russia that's fine what we're going to try and do is get this one through this race unless can we replace this one now and um, let's see can we if it, it takes 12 minutes that's most of the session gone so might as well wait till after uh, thingy <clears throat> so yeah we're gonna try and stretch this through so let's go out on the track and let's see what we can uh, do with this position because if we hit everything right I can see a good starting position coming because this car believe it or not is dialed in to this circuit especially through that last corner where we get a nice slingshot who is that that went faster? good lord Ricardo I tell you, if we can even get close to Ricardo, we'll take that. A little scrape on the wall, that never hurt anybody. Who's the white car behind me? <coughs> he sneezed going into turn seven out of Raffles Boulevard. Oh, a no. little nudge on the wall again. Yikes, how are you doing? Back end stepping out then. Oh, this is scruffy as hell. Scruffy as hell, it's one of the horses. I knew it was one of the horses, I don't know which one. Well, we six tenths down on Ricardo. Hey, six tenths is good. Only like 1.4. That's cocked up. And we can make it all back up in that last corner. Yeah, that was about what we were off uh, Verstappen in practice. It's good enough for eight. Ooh, Ericsson took a penalty. So let's uh, fast forward it a bit. If we have to go out, we will go out. But only if we have to. And it looks like we do. Or maybe we don't. We think we may see some rain. We're going to gamble on not going out. Minutes. I think we're through. Yeah, we're through. We can clean up that lap we did. We could get into the top 10 shootout. So that's a good start. So we lose Van Dorn, Leclerc, Hartley, Stroll and Ericsson. The usuals. All right, on to Q2. Uh-oh. Oh, let's skip that repair time. We're not going to sit there for five minutes uh, driveling. Right, so it's fixed. Oh, it's raining. Crap. Switch to the recommended compound. Flying lap. Uh, crap. We did not expect that. Did you see that car twitch? Oh, it's twitching again! 
What the hell? Oh, good. Jiminy Christ. Oh, we're getting on the power and it's just all over the shop. And there she goes again. Oh, Jesus Christ. Are you alright? Engine off. Engine off. Well, that was going to happen. That was going to happen. Oh well, 15th. And it's the walk of shame. Yep, pull the visor up. <laughs> so, look at that. <laughs> to be honest, Gasly and Ocon went out at the right time. Ah, oh, that's, that's tough, man. But with. We're qualifying better than we started, so we'll see what we can do in the in the race. I think Alonso, yeah, Alonso's going to beat me. <laughs> okay, we'll let you have that one, Frankie. Uh, almost. Is Marep going? No, Marep's going up. That's interesting. Well done. I would have thought it had Very gone down. Results. You're looking good for the race. More of the same in the race. All right then. <laughs> P.S. Lap the field and I'll buy you a pizza. Sweet pizza on Jeff. Pizzas are on Jeff if we uh, lap the field. Can we? Uh, no, we can't buy an upgrade, can we? Okay, that's that's fair. That's fair enough. What's the morale like? It's still good. We might want to buy something new. <coughs> okay then. So we're about to go and uh, earn ourselves a pizza. Yeah, man, pizza's on Jeff. Why not? <laughs> we could only wish. Hello and welcome one and all to the shining streets of Singapore. Can you believe we've been coming here for nearly a decade now? It feels like only yesterday that Felipe Massa was dragging his fuel hose down the pit lane in that eventful opening race. And in a Grand Prix one from pole position more often than not, will we see a new victor crowned today? The 3.1 miles of the Marina Bay street circuit wind its way around some of the iconic landmarks here in the heart of Singapore. 23 corners in total, 13 to the left and 10 to the right, making this one of the most technical circuits on the Formula One calendar, with just 47% of the lap taken at full throttle. A warm welcome to Anthony Davidson, who's beside me in the commentary box today. Let's talk about Renault. What do you make of their performance so far this season? Well, the atmosphere within that team seems very positive at the moment. Everyone seems like they're in great spirits and having a lot of fun doing what they do. And that's definitely contributed to the performances we've seen. We're almost ready to go then. And this is what the starting grid looks like for today's race. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position and Max Verstappen lines up alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Bottas, Vettel, Kimi Raikkonen, and Ricardo, Alonso, Sainz, Gasly, and Esteban Ocon, Hulkenberg, Grosjean, Sergio Perez, and Magnussen, Poole, Van Dorn, Charles Leclerc, and Brendan Hartley, Stroll, and Marcus Ericsson rounds off the grid. And now it's time to head down to the track. Okay, watch out at the race start. There will be faster cars trying to get past. See if you can hold them off. I will do my best. So it looks like we're on for a long first stint. Hmm, okay. It's interesting. 
but we will give it our all around here. I want to beat Alonso, definitely. See if we can finish in the points from 15th. That'll get us a bit of a morale booster back. Clutch engaged, here we go. And that is a half decent start. Somebody, whoa, what was that? Magnuson side by side with me, this ain't gonna end well. Told you ain't gonna end well. Are you okay? That was a big one. Confirm you're okay, please. Oh, that bleeding Kevin Magnuson. I tell you what, Haas have employed some cowboy. That was gonna be a fight down into turn seven down the Raffles Boulevard. Look at him, turns it right in on us. And then teammate piles in afterwards. So they've red flagged the uh, session. We've got the clutch engaged, we're ready to roll. And we're off. Yeah, we do go, oh, excuse me. I'm very sorry about that. <coughs> That's a decent start, good job. Here we go, we've got nice run on Gasly going. We're in P10. Made up a few positions after that one. Oh, we thought about a move on Gasly! We're still thinking of a move on Gasly. Oh, excuse you! Excuse you, Pierre! Warn me for a collision with Gasly. How can you warn me? He was the one that uh, caused it. But, all right, P9. We'll take that from the start. I hope Gasly's got a probably certain right. What an idiot. brush on the wall as we go past. That's fine. Oh, it's going around. No, it stays with it. to do something here because honestly I don't see how we're beating guys like Sainz today I to do that sorry catching sight so nice gaggle in front of us if we can uh, hold on That's to be expected. We go round the long way. Okay, entering lap three now. DRS has been enabled. 
DRS enable. Got to get close to Sainz though to... They're warning me for exceeding track limits. I don't know how they can possibly be doing that. We don't have the DRS just yet. Let's get down into no so we can charge the battery. Go, yeah, we're going longer than sight. The energy store is getting worn, reducing our overall capacity. The more charge you hold, the faster that capacity will drop. Yeah, but we can't exactly hold a lot of uh, capacity at the minute because uh, we suck, quite literally. Definitely got more than uh we advise moving to mix two fuel to mix two. We definitely got more than some of the cars behind us. We've been awarded a time penalty oh, we'll really? against our finishing time at the end of the race. I took the race in line. There, champion. I would have reviewed the footage there. Oh, we bounced off the wall. We just can't seem to get close to science at all. So we have to rely on... Reduce the ERS deployment, please. We need to charge the battery. That late? Grosjean's got past... Uh... I believe that's Hulkenberg behind us and uh, Ocon. So we're going to have Grosjean coming, folks. Grosjean's going to come play. Science in the pits, I think. Yep, that's science in the pits. So he went early. So we got that position. See, that's the line I took. And now I've got a penalty for it. Yeah, okay. Okay. We've got to kind of move because we've got Grosjean coming. We're gonna be on these tyres for a long race, folks. Our gap to the car in front is 9.5 seconds. Yeah, 9.5, we're not gonna catch that. We need Alonso to have a breakdown, please. If you don't mind. Oh, whoa! What the hell? That's gonna put Groge on our tail. That's really gonna put Groge on our tail. Ultra are 
annoying me. We're leading our teammate by 11.5 seconds. I think Luke, did we just overtake one of the Red Bulls? I think we did. I think we took a car though. Now here comes Grosjean. He's going to have DRS and everything. Must be nice having that DRS, mustn't it, Grosjean? Yeah, scrub. Can't get past me on the straights. Not while I'm in rich. Did I help cause Portion. a collision? Portion. The virtual safety car is out. Reduce speed and maintain a positive delta. Drop your speed. Our delta is too low and you risk a penalty. Slow your pace immediately. Maintain your pace until the green flag. VSC ending. Wait for green. Okay, clear. Big problems for Roman Grosjean. Oh, oh there goes Hulkenberg. Oh, oh, Nico Hulkenberg. And now... Oh, that is ridiculous. Why is Perez coming past us? Yeah, you can have that. I'm coming through. And now Perez is out, it looks like. Well, Perez brought it on himself. I had the inside the corner. some energy harvesting. Reduce ERS deployment. Okie dokie. Didn't say Perez was out the race. I imagine he is because he was parked on the sides of the track. You'll be on the hyper softs. Presumably, then they're softs that. Uh... <clears throat> oh, and another caution. Well, no, we had a caution. Might come in a lap early for these hypersofts. I'm thinking about it. Who's behind? Oh, it's young Verstappen behind me. That's not really a fight I uh, want to pick, is it? Do I want to fight with Verstappen? Really? Not really, but uh, here we go. We're trying the outside. Let's 
trying the outside again. We're holding up Verstappen here. He's not going to be very happy with us, I don't think. Now you're going to warn him. Because uh, that was a bit cheeky from Verstappen. I'm thinking of boxing this lap. We'll see. fight wasn't really with Verstappen this weekend, it was uh, with someone else. Some information on Hulkenberg. They have an issue with their car. They're going to be slow. Good. And he's in front of me. Bloody hell, Leclerc is all over me. We'll go one extra. We should have actually gone in then. Box, box. We're coming in this lap. Good. I just think this lack of straight line speed is hurting us today, man. Claire wants it, he's got to go outside. The gap to the car ahead is 6.3 seconds. Look at that, Verstappen just pulled away and was gone. Oh no, it's not Verstappen now, it's Hulkenberg. Ooh. There's Leclerc. Battery charge is low. About as useful as a chocolate tip player. Energy. Battery charge is low. He thought that going around the outside. Get lost, Leclerc! You've got front wing damage. Recommend you box for a new one. Yeah. A new strategy is available on the MFD. Okay, copy that. No way you Leclerc could get past me. Oh, we've got big time wing damage. So we've got to pit and fix. No, I want the hypes off. We've ran someone over. Come on! Oh, where are we going to come out? We'll pass Leclerc. I'll serve him right. Up to speed now. Let's get some heat into those tyres. engine mode much longer we're about a lap over target drop down to mix too soon yeah 
we just have zero speed this weekend. So we've got to now hope, hope and hold on to the P17 we've got. See if we can gain any more positions while we're at it. Might be able to get gas late. Five laps of fuel remaining. I don't care about being five laps of fuel remaining. Leclerc needs to have a word with himself. He was nowhere near. Why is Gasly on the socks? That makes no sense. And again, what? Oh, good lord, I am racing with an idiot. All right, so we've been looking at the damage, and we think you should be okay to continue. It'll cost us a little bit of time, but we're nearly at the end of the race. I actually don't feel too bad, if I'm being honest. Strolls in the pits. So we might be able to... This is in for his stop. Might be able to gain a position on him. We need some help getting rid of Alonso. Well, there's a whole train coming out here. Let's see if we can beat someone. Yeah, let's beat Ericsson. Yay! We got Ericsson. So he might get us because he's got DRS. And we just pump it. Yeah, he has got DRS. <laughs> oh dear. Well, that was not a fair fight, ladies and gentlemen. The car ahead of you has just fitted the Hypersoft tyres. Car ahead, now on the Hypersoft compound. Whoa! See how close we got to the wall! Do some charging. You know, I'm looking in front of me. That's not the points are not too far away. I don't know where Hulkenberg is with his mysterious car problem, but uh, he's obviously nowhere. There he is. I just don't think we had the speed this weekend, man. Which uh, does suck. There's three laps of fuel remaining. Good for the three laps of fuel. So who, who's behind us then? I think Stroll's actually beating us. We need to have a word with that. Reduce the ERS deployment, please. We need to charge the battery. Oh, yeah, and then I've got that three-second penalty, haven't I? I've got to get ahead of these guys by three seconds. Why I'm going to lose 17. <coughs> well, that's, what, 2.3, so... 2.3 is not bad. It's a good starting block. Certainly think somebody up here is slow. I don't know who it is. Broke free. We're gonna get going now, Ian.
<coughs> yeah, there's someone really slow in front of us. I don't know who it is. comes Hartley, so we, we've not got enough for Hartley. Hartley's going to beat us. Marcus is having a good fight with whoever this is in front of him. Hey, maybe it's Lance. Oh, that'll do it. Now we've got a problem. You have front wing damage, but only a few laps left. If you can live with it, stay out. Yeah, I can't live with it, that's the problem. Look at how wide we are at the last corner. We have to give the There's place to Hartley. Fuel remaining. Give the place to Hartley and hope we stay here. This has been a Singapore Grand Prix to forget for us, I'm afraid. Oh, we had DRS. Wow. <laughs> Hamilton wins the race. GG, Hamilton. GG. Whoa. I think we're going to finish 19th. Oh, we bounced off the wall again. Yeah, that wing has really been damaged. We're not gonna... Oh, this is stupid! I've got to get a better set of man. I need more straight line speed. That's Gasly. He wants another crack, doesn't he? There's fireworks going off, but... Uh... It's not going to be any matter because I think we're going to finish last. Yeah, oh, very wide. Okay, pick up rubber and bring it home. Yeah. That, uh, that wasn't good, I'm afraid. So Mercedes have won it and what a great race it was. That was uh, pretty bad, after a so, solid uh, start as well. They set themselves apart from the pack today? Well, I'd, I'd say it's just raw pace, plain and simple. I mean, we could sit here and talk about strategy all day, the overtaking, looking after the tyres, but at the end of it all, if you want to win, you need a package that's got I can the speed over so It's Vettel on the podium exactly with the two Mercedes. So as I say that, we can see the drivers coming out now to collect their trophies. It's yet more silverware to take back to their base in Brackley after another excellent Grand Prix. And now let's take a look at the driver's standings. Well, the gap at the top of the championship has been cut down after a difficult race today for our championship leader. Now then, Anthony Davidson, who was your driver of the day? Let's give it to Lance Stroll. That was a quality drive from start to finish. He can be proud of that one. And now let's take a look at the constructor's standings. Mercedes have extended their lead at the top of the standings. There'll be plenty more twists and turns to come this season 
I hope you can join us at the next race to see just who will come out on top. Yep, you did well there, lads. I was a scrub. I was an utter scrub today. Big shout out to Grojon for not finishing a bit of the wall like an idiot. But uh, the idiots, man. Idiot magnet. Oh well. Back to uh, back to the shop. Your perspective. Uh, I sucked. It looks like your rival bested you today, doesn't it? There was quite a lot of contact today, wasn't there? Yeah, I think some other drivers need to learn how to drive. Great. Well, that's everything. Yep, I sucked. I imagine I didn't get a lot of. Uh... That's very disappointing. I know you can do better than that. Take stock of what went wrong so you can get a better result next time. Yeah, what went wrong was uh... I sucked. <laughs> We've received invitations to new historic events. Got an historic event. I don't know which one I'm doing straight away. Before the end of this weekend. I screwed up in qualifying, yes. But uh, I think you actually need to look at other drivers, Carl, not uh, not me. <clears throat> right. Need some more points to get that locked in. Ah oh, man, that does suck. Oh well, we'll uh, we'll head off to Sochi now. So uh, thanks for watching. Uh, hope you enjoyed that uh, video, even though I sucked like a scrub. And we'll see you all uh, in Sochi. So uh, take care, everybody. <laughs>